A little windy out there this afternoon, and that will be true tomorrow as well. Uh, the wind gusts may not be quite as strong on Thursday, but still a fairly windy day if you're making plans to work or play outside uh, later today and tomorrow. Uh, next week, uh, the next week cold front, not next week, but the next week, as in not, not strong, uh, cold front arrives on uh, late Friday and uh, uh, Friday evening. It will be slightly cooler this weekend. We'll go from the 80s during the day to mainly the 70s on Saturday. So not a big cool down, but it should make it into a very nice weekend. If you have plans Saturday and Sunday, humidity's back down, the sun's out, and everyone's probably happy again this weekend. Uh, right now, it is warm and windy, though. Uh, wind gusts right now, are, as you saw earlier, were close to 40 miles per hour. Actual wind speeds, these are without the gusts. The wind speeds sustained at almost 30 miles per hour in some areas, and even 30 in Harlingen and Raymondville. So it is quite windy out there, especially in parts of the mid and lower valley. The wind gusts now, you see, are approaching 40 miles per hour in some areas, 38 the gusts in, in Harlingen, 31 in Port Isabel, and 32 in Edinburgh. So pretty windy out there. It gets a little less windy in Star County and the farther west you go toward Falcon Lake. This afternoon, future track does show the wind is remaining fairly strong. This is the forecast wind speed without the gusts, which, which show it uh, still fairly breezy into the evening. Now, if you are going to be out walking or doing something in the evening, still could be a little gusty, but not like this afternoon. You see by 6 p.m. the wind speeds are dropping a bit, but they don't fall off a lot tonight. We're not going to really kill off all the winds tonight, so still probably a gust around 25 to 30 miles per hour most of this evening and night. And then tomorrow, not as windy, but you see the winds do get a little gusty or strong again later in the morning and afternoon. And I think after tomorrow, though, the wind speeds drop off much more by Friday. So temperatures right now are warming up. We're at 82 in Westlaco, 84 in Harlingen, and 76 along the coast at South Padre Island. The humidity has been increasing the last couple of days. The winds have come back from the south now, and with a strong breeze blowing, the humidity is uh, creeping its way up through the muggy category toward uh, maybe the bottom edge of the very humid category by later tonight or tomorrow in some areas. So we'll be getting more humid, which also means warmer nights uh, tonight and tomorrow night. 80s across South Texas. Farther to the north, there's not a lot of cold air anywhere in Texas, but the cold front, which is coming our way, is just entering North Texas, but not a lot of cold air behind it as it moves our way. But ahead of it, it is kind of windy. The wind's blowing up into that cold front and storm system to the northwest and windy conditions this afternoon. A lot of sunshine and dry weather today. By tonight, again, it still stays fairly breezy overnight. Tomorrow gets kind of windy again, but still a kind of a partly sunny day. You might see a few more clouds than today, but still a fairly bright day and just about as warm. And then by Friday, uh, don't think we'll see much of a rain chance, but as the front gets closer later in the afternoon and evening, it has a very small chance of maybe cause one or two showers later, I would say after sunset in the nighttime hours. But you see as the front comes in in the evening, Probably no rain along that front, so Friday night football game should be dry. Just it may get a little breezy in some areas, especially closer to the coast once the front passes a uh, late Friday night. But that is about uh, the most, I guess, noticeable change you'll see on Friday evening. Now at the coast, if you still want to get in some good beach time, it is kind of windy there, but air temperatures in the 70s, water temperatures a little bit cooler, but uh, still some dry weather at the coast on Wednesday and Thursday and probably going to be dry all the way through the weekend. Just that tiny, tiny chance of a shower as we get toward uh, late Friday night with the cold front. Today, a high of 85, but mostly sunny, a windy afternoon. Your first 1-5 AccuWeather 7-day forecast. If you love 85, we got three of them there. Uh, today, Thursday and Friday stays in the 80s. The morning temperatures come up because of the higher humidity and it stays kind of windy today and tomorrow. A very, very small chance, about a 10% chance of a shower Friday night. But look at that weekend. Highs in the 70s on Saturday and near 80 on Sunday with nighttime lows cooling off a bit into the 50s and lower 60s. Beautiful pair of days there for the weekend. It could get more humid next week. We'll show you the Thanksgiving outlook coming up, but these temperatures may remain warm all the way through Thanksgiving and Black Friday for much next week. And we'll keep tracking that coming up here on Channel 5 News at noon.